Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov, I'm the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. Today we will continue our pumpkin series. We will create very colorful, beautiful water, watercolor painting in Adobe Photoshop CC. I will be using Kyle Webster's brushes I downloaded from uh, Adobe website. Uh, if you never used any uh, Kyle Webster's brushes, just go to Adobe website, download them and start creating your art right now. So let's jump i have opened adobe photoshop cc also i have opened my document this document has three layers one layer is simple a background layer this layer locked uh second layer is my my uh, very rough um a pumpkin outline just like this and third layer is my reference image i took this image a few days ago in my studio using uh, my iphone before I will start working on my uh, painting, I would like to pick color out of my reference image. So I will use um, image of my, uh, I will use uh, colors um, from uh, my image. I have highlighted my reference layer, just like that. I will switch to eyedropper um, tool, simply click on eye and voila, and I will click on my pumpkin just like that. Now I will switch to my brush tool, click B key and voila, and I will create this dot. I will switch back to my eyedropper tool and I will click on another color. I will switch back to my brush tool and voila, my second color. And I will continue picking uh, colors out of my uh, pumpkin. I will create those dots, my reference uh, in, uh, colors. And this definitely you can add any color later or later on during your um a painting workflow, but it's a very great habit to start your um painting having all the colors organized. So I have my colors, and now what I will do, I will highlight my uh, background layer and I will create new empty layer just like that and I will rename it to my painting layer uh, you know what I will rename it to the number one because I will add many many uh, different layers so this is my first painting layer I will switch to my uh, watercolor uh, brush guys I don't know if you noticed but here I have my um, watercolor uh, brushes library big big uh, huge library uh, and also I have my um, folder with my favorite watercolor brushes. I will click on my first brush I would like to work with today, just like this. I can change my brush at any time. And I will pick this uh, color and brush and voila. I will increase size of my brush and I will apply first layer of my color just like that guys this is watercolor painting so don't uh, stress um, about you pay you can uh, go outside of your uh, sketch um, it's okay it's watercolor painting everything is uh, possible everything will be beautiful so this is my first uh, layer now guys I will switch to another color I will create new empty layer and I will continue working on my pumpkin just like this guys see how beautiful is it no stress no uh, oh my god what I need to do what stroke I should apply uh, and anything like that just enjoy your creation guys uh, everything is possible in Photoshop in Photoshop you should not stress about anything just use your imagination so this is my second layer of my beautiful colors if I need, guys, I can bring down opacity of my layer just like that. And by the way, I will rename this layer to uh, number two. It's my second um, painting layer. And now, guys, I will click on my um, color icon just like that. And I will choose another color. Remember, I told you that uh, we can, um, you can choose um add or remove any color later on during your um, painting workflow this is a great example so now i will continue uh, applying uh, colors layer by layer guys 
just like this. How beautiful is it? And maybe, maybe I will bring down opacity of my layer just like that. Perfect. Now I will create another empty layer. I will rename it to layer number three. And I will continue applying uh, brush strokes using same brush, same color. Just like that. And again, don't stress um, of uh, getting outside of your uh, sketch um, outlines. It's perfectly normal. What I will do, I will bring down opacity of this layer one more time, just like that. Now I will create a new layer. I will rename it to layer number four. And I will switch to yellow color. Simply bright yellow color, just like that. I will bring down size of my brush. And I will apply a few brush strokes using this beautiful um, fall color. Just like that. I love fall. Um, it's so beautiful outside all the time. It's not hot. It's not cold. It's a perfect weather. Perfect, beautiful, bright colors. I love, love, love autumn. Just like that. And one more time, I will bring down opacity of my layer slightly, not too much. I will create new empty layer. I will rename it to layer number five. And I will switch to white color. I will bring down a size of my brush and I will apply a few uh, brush strokes with white color, just like that. Guys, this is watercolor painting. We're supposed to have uh, not painted areas, but um, Digital painting is different, so you can paint entire um, surface, entire pumpkin, and just use white color to create transparency um, illusion, just like this. And again, remember guys, I told you it will be easy, no complications, just enjoy your workflow. I'm keeping my promises. Just like that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What I will do now, guys, I will create new layer. I love layers because I have full control over my painting. I will rename this layer to layer number six. I will switch to uh, this color, just like that. Switching back to my um, brush uh, tool and I will change my brush, just like that. And I will continue working on my pumpkin, just like this. I will bring down size of my brush and voila. How beautiful is it, guys? Really, really beautiful. When I was a child, my mom always um, made so delicious uh, pumpkin. Uh, uh, I even don't know name of this dish, but it was uh, basically it was very beautiful, sweet uh, dish uh, with pumpkin, and I loved it. I need to uh, call to my mom and ask about the recipe. So this is my um, uh, another layer, my layer number six. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I will create new empty layer. I will bring down size of my brush and I will apply few brush strokes, just like this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now guys, definitely we need to um, take to consideration that we have a um, kind of blue um, background definitely this background will reflect in our pumpkin and we need to add few splashes of a light blue color to our pumpkin details are of super important so what i will do i will finish this part of my pumpkin just like that maybe few um strokes to outline a shape of our um, pumpkin just like that beautiful 
And now, guys, I will switch to another brush. I will use um, kind of um, text uh, brush with uh, some texture, and I will use same color but few shapes uh, darker. And what I will do, guys, I will uh, apply kind of splash of uh, this color uh, on top of my uh, pumpkin, just like that. And I will create a new empty layer. I will rename it to layer number eight. And guys, did you notice I forgot to rename my previous layer? So I will rename it to layer number seven. And using my last uh, layer, number eight, I will apply a few splashes of this dark color to my pumpkin, just like that. And I will bring down opacity of this layer. Perfect. I love it. Now, I will create a new empty layer. I will rename it to layer number nine. I will switch to kind of a blue color. I can pick this color out of my uh, image just like that. I will modify my color just like this. And I will apply this color to my pumpkin. But before that, I will switch um, to another brush just like that. And Voila! This is our reflection. And I will bring down opacity of my reflection layer. I will create a new layer. I will rename it to layer number 10. I will use right now a, r a red color, bright red color. I will bring down opacity of my layer to about 45 and I will, I, I will apply few splashes of this beautiful red color. I will um, bring size down for, uh, for my brush and voila, few splashes of this beautiful, beautiful red color. Just like that. Guys, just look at this pumpkin. Beautiful, uh, very uh, bright colors. Uh, guys, uh, I love, love, love fall time. I'm located in Atlanta. We still have um, 94 degrees, but it's end of September. So soon, very soon, we will have very beautiful fall colors. Guys, uh, if you will ask me why I'm using so many colors, I explained before, uh, I mean, uh, so many uh, layers. I explained it before. I love um, using my layers because I can uh, have, I'm having full control over, over my um, image. And this is a great example. Um, so I have highlighted my last layer, layer number 10. I applied a red color, but for my taste, it's too much. So what I will do, I will bring down opacity of my layer more than I did it before. Just like this. And voila. I will create a new layer. Rename it to layer number 11. And I will start working on my pumpkin steam. I will pick color out of my um, image color. I will bring down size of my brush. And I will apply a few splashes of this beautiful color just like this. I will bring size down of my brush more and voila. Photoshop blends all colors together for me. I don't need to apply extra step in my watercolor painting. What I will do, I will um, use a uh, a brighter shade of same color and I, I will apply a few brush strokes in here. Maybe I will use another color. Let's see. Yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I love it. And now, guys, what I will do, I will switch to white color, simply a uh, white color. And um, I will, uh, let me switch first, just like that. And I will apply a few splashes of white uh, color, just like that. Perfect. I'm happy with my entire pumpkin. Time to apply a um, few brush strokes for our uh, background. What I will do, I will highlight my background layer. I will create a new empty layer. 
using eyedropper, I will pick color out of my reference image, switching back to my um, watercolor paintbrush, will bring size uh, up extremely, and I will apply a few brush strokes, just like that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, definitely I need to apply shade under my uh, pumpkin. I will create a new empty layer. I will pick color a um, few shades darker than my previous color. I will bring size of my brush down and I will create few, um, I will apply few brush stroke to, uh, to um, uh, create my beautiful, beautiful shade under my pumpkin, just like that. And more. Perfect. Now I'm very, very happy. What I will do, I will hide my reference uh, image and voila, our pumpkin is ready. The last step, guys, if you think this uh, sketch layer is too much, highlight this layer and bring down opacity of your sketch layer and voila, your pumpkin is ready. So guys, this is what I wanted to share with you. You can create very colorful uh, painting in Adobe Photoshop CC using watercolor uh, brushes. You, you can even uh, print out this um, pumpkin for your uh, seasonal uh, greetings card, or you can use this pumpkin as a digital file to send to someone. Simply add some text uh, and voila, you are ready for your uh, seasonal greetings uh, card. So guys, thank you very much for being with me. Highly appreciated your time. If you have any questions, just ask. I'm here to answer to any of your questions. And if you like my tutorial, please uh, like, subscribe to my channel and share my tutorial. Thank you so much, guys. I will see you later. Bye.